Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm in Sparks Daily Rambles where I review TV shows, movies, and music. So today we're doing the TV show uh, Marvel's The Defenders. I literally just watching this today and this video is going to be up today. So I'm literally just seeing it today. Um, I've seen the first four episodes so far. So um, I want to do that. Go ahead and do all that in separate videos. So um, just check back and I'll have more stuff. So, uh, for people who don't know, I just want to go back on what I've been watching so far. Um, I've watched Darede Daredevil seasons one and two. I've seen Jessica Jones and I've seen Iron Fist. Unfortunately, I have not seen Luke Cage yet, but I have a mess of other shows I'm trying to get through before I can get into that. But, um, so anyway, so let's just go ahead and get started on this, shall we? So we start off with, and this episode is called The H Word. That's the end of the episode. And we start off with a really, really good fight scene in Cambodia. And it's the Iron Fist's intro, basically. But, um, the, so there, uh, this guy is trying to defeat this person uh, that's using a katana or a sword. And basically, he, he gets, you know, he gets, like, stabbed a few times. And eventually, he's dying, so the person got away. And, but the guy says to uh, Danny Rand that he knows he's Iron Fist and that the real fight's in New York City. So, um, I was like, what is happening? Because <laughs> like, he was running through trying to find the person, but he couldn't find the person. Actually, the first, the person actually um, sliced him in the, over the chest for the tattoo. So anyway, um, then we have the, a really good intro, um, intro video. You know, like the title sequence. That was really, really good. I really did like that a lot. And then we have Jessica Jones intro, and she's drunk at the bar. And um, it turns out it's daytime now. She was there literally all night. She kind of passed out and woke up. And then she meets uh, Trish Walker and basically rescues her car because her car was trying to be... Um, towed away and she just broke it off it's like it's fine now <laughs> so that happened and then um they have Luke Cage's intro where he's at the prison but he gets released but the guy is funny because the guy was fumbling to undo the um the handcuffs and he just went I got it so I'm going like this and see y'all later uh, so he uncuts himself and leaves and then um you have Foggy Wilson um, turns out one is the one that built him out. Or Nelson, sorry. Foggy Nelson, sorry. <laughs> and then you have Daredevil's intro, which is like um, Matthew Murdoch. And he is just being a lawyer right now. And he, t um, so he won a case for the, against this company that put this little, this kid in a wheelchair. And he talks to the kid, says, you gotta just take your life back. You can't put on like a placid smile and just go along with everything. Like, it's okay to be mad and upset and everything. So that was really neat. Then you have, um, Paige was in there as well. And, um, wants to do, um, wants to do lunch or grab a bite to eat. And then you have Danny Rand going, is flying back to NYC. But, um, on the playing right back, he's kind of hallucinating or he was asleep, and he sees all the dead people, and basically I think they're supposed to be uh, all of Kun Lun's people are all dead, and he faces all his fault. And then he talks to himself in the dream. So that happened. And it turns out it was just a nightmare, And um, but he doesn't want to talk to uh, Colleen about it, and he basically says, it's just a nightmare. It's like, dude, you're yelling. Honestly, more than just a nightmare. So, but he's just trying to block it out. Then you have the main the main villain, which is Alexandria. It turns out that she's actually dying. And then, um, so there's really nothing they can do. Even with someone with all of her money and all of her resources, it still won't help her uh, get better. So then you have Jessica Jones on uh, domestic some people on. Uh, dismisses people trying to look for her husband and then um, right when she tells them like to go away and she gets thrown into her apartment she gets a phone call from you know one of those um voice randomizer randomizers or whatever um and told her not to find him so of course she's going to try to find him 
Then you have uh, Cage, who um, is going home, and he steps off the bus. He's just having like a breath of fresh air. He's like, I'm finally out. Finally. Then he runs into Claire, and they do it. And <laughs> turns out um, she also wrote letters to him in prison. But um, then they, Claire wants to like, what do you want to do now? And he wants to help people. Which I think is really, really cool. Like, he just wants to help people. And they have Misty's intro, um, which is like a cop that I guess helped Luke Cage a lot. I guess I haven't seen that show, so I don't know. And then you have Paige and Murdoch talk, and um, turns out Murdoch doesn't want to be a um, daredevil anymore. He just wants to be a lawyer. And then we cut to Jessica talks to Malcolm, who was um, a drug addict, drug addict. And now he's trying to help her out with the case. And it turns out um, she basically just um, called information. It's like, I need to know who called me on this number. It was private. And she knows how to do, like, how to get information really, really well. And it turns out someone used a payphone, which I didn't know payphones even worked anymore, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, so then you cut to Cage and Missy uh, take a walk. And then um, they talk about the town and everything that's been happening and some new developments that are happening as well. Then um, we cut to Murdoch and he goes to, the, uh, goes to confession and the um, priest is like, it's called moving on. You're just moving on from the situation. And he says, purgatory is for the dead, not the living. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat. And then we have Alexandria telling, um, Madam Gal to speed up the plan and Madam Gal's like, are you sure you really want to do that? It's going to make us more in the open. It won't be a secret tip. She's like, just do it anyway. And then you have Cage who talks to uh, um, this kid about, uh, hey, you don't really need to be doing what you're doing. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway. Then you have Jessica doing some investigations, and she found a bunch of explosives in this guy's apartment. And then you have uh, Rand is back in town, and it turns out right when he gets off the plane, there's an earthquake. And it's like it sends a fissure in between him and Colleen, which I think is really interesting, because I don't know what's going to happen yet. But I thought that was really, really cool. And they have... Electra is back and they have her intro and then after the earthquake settles down and stuff we cut to uh, Murdoch hears everything with his super hearing because of the accident that he had so that's how we end off the episode which I thought was a really good episode um I always write down notes so I can have like bullet points to talk about for people who don't know so anyway um I thought this was a really really good episode um it's just a tiny bit slow just a little bit that's probably my only critique, so I don't give this like a B plus episode. It's still really good. It's trying to tee everything up into where it's going into the main um, action of the show. So I think the first few episodes um, are doing that, and I think the back half of the um, season is going to ramp everything up. So I'm expecting a lot, but I do like all the fight scenes. And I like all the um, interactions they're having, and I just like how the direction of the show is going so far. I really do like that a lot. So that's what I do for me. So if you like this type of episode um, or video per se, uh, just let me know. Like, comment down below. If you like this episode, if you dislike it, what do you dislike about it? I really am interested to hear what y'all think about it. And this is also a spoiler alert. So I'm going to put that in the comment section for sure because there will be spoilers happening, obviously. So uh, that's one for me. So like I said, just like, comment, and then subscribe for more stuff. And for people who love music, uh, do that too. If you also want to make suggestions on what I should do next, let me know in the comment section down below on what you want me to react to next because I can do reactions slash reviews of different TV shows. So I'll see you on my next video. I want you all to have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.